Hello Wildcat parents, Mr. Rob here. Today I am going to help you help your student take their STAR Early Literacy and their STAR Reading Test. You can help your students log into their Chromebook, start the session and start the program, and you can help them enter the password for the administrator or the admin password to start the test. You can also show them during the practice how they click on an answer that they want to choose and how to click on the blue next button to get to the next question. But once the practice is over and the test starts, you cannot help them anymore. They have to do it all by themselves. This is a test of their ability to operate the computer, but it's also a test of their ability to listen, read, and comprehend English. So once they're in the test portion, you cannot help them anymore. They take it all by themselves so that we know how well they can listen, read, and understand. Hola padres de Wildcats. Soy el señor Rob y yo voy a mostrar cómo ayudar a su estudiante tome su prueba de STAR. Usted puede ayudarles a acceder a su Chromebook, inicie sesión en el programa, e introduzca la contraseña de administrador. Puede utilizar la práctica para explicar cómo escuchan, hacer clic en su respuesta y hacer clic en la palabra siguiente, en inglés es next. Cuando termina la práctica y comienza la prueba, no puede ayudarlos. Deben hacerlo ellos mismos. Esta es una prueba de su capacidad para operar la computadora así como para escuchar, leer y comprender el inglés. No los ayude durante la porción de prueba. Gracias. To take a STAR Early Literacy or a STAR Reading Test, first open your Chromebook and log in. When you log into your computer, make sure that your screen brightness is turned up so that it's easy to see. Make sure that your volume is turned all the way up. If it is muted, it will be gray and it will have a little line slashed through it and there will be no sound. And when the lady talks during the test, your student will not be able to hear her. So make sure that you turn the volume up so that your student can hear her. If you're using headphones, put the headphones on your ear when the test starts so that you can make sure there is sound. Click up here where it says test and quiz, AR star. Then click here where it says AR and star. Type in your username and your password. Your teacher has given you your username and password on an index card or a slip of paper or somewhere in all your materials. To take the star reading test, you would click on this icon. To take the star early literacy test, you would click on this icon. Let's start with the star early literacy. For the password, type in the word admin, A, D, M, I, N, and then click on start. Practice is about to start. No thanks, we don't need to save that password. Which picture shows a mom? Pick the picture of the mom. Okay, so it gives you some practice questions and you have to pick you have to choose the picture with the mom. Then you have to use two fingers to scroll down and see the next blue button. Listen carefully to what I say. Mountain. Pick the picture whose name I say. Mountain. Another trick you can do is you can push this little button right here, the square with the two arrows in the corners, and that will make it full screen. Now, when you choose the mountain, the blue button will be visible. If it's not full screen, it seems like that button's hidden and you have to do the two fingers. Now that she's done talking and the rabbit's ears are up, now we can choose. I choose the tree, but I don't see the button. You have to use your two fingers to scroll down or you have to be in full screen mode in order to see the button clearly. Pick the boy that is on the fence. Okay. On the fence. Pick the boy that is on the fence. That boy is on the fence. 
great job on the practice. Now we will go to the test. So, the practice is over. This is the Which actual of these test. Is the capital letter A? If you are a parent and you are helping students at this point, do not help your students. Let them do this all by themselves. This is a test and it's a test of their Which knowledge. Which of these is the capital letter A? Which of these is the capital letter I? Pick the capital letter I. Now, you can see which question you're on, question two. You can see how many there are going to be, 27. You can see the bunny ears are up, so it's waiting for an answer. Which of these is the capital letter I? And I'm going to purposefully not answer this question so you can see what happens and what the student will see if they take too long. Pick the capital letter I. And now you can see that the little clock is flashing up here at the top, so that means we're running out of time for this question. Pick the word that rhymes with boom, but starts with z. So if your student runs out of time, it automatically goes to the next question. Now you can see we're on 3 out of 27, and it just keeps going. Red. If you click on Stop Test, it will ask you, are you sure you would like to do this later? And it will ask you if you're going to want to resume later or stop the test. So if your student needs to go to the bathroom and stop the test, choose Resume Later so that when they come back later, they can take the test and finish it. Again, you have to enter the password admin A D the word is M bed. I N. Which of the other resume words later. is red? No thanks, Pick we do not keep them. Red. And it says the test is paused. Notice that the test just keeps going in the background behind it. So it can be a little bit distracting, but you have to keep going. Also notice that when you're done with the test, this is still in full screen mode. So you need to click the square with the two little arrows in order to get out of full screen mode again and get back to the normal screen. Okay, for a star reading test, you're going to click on the star reading icon. Same thing with the passwords, A, D, M, I, N. And at this point, parents do not need to help anymore. Let your kid take their test all by themselves, and they do not get any help, because it needs to be a test of their skills to operate the computer and their skills for reading. No thanks. Practice is about to start. Okay, this one does not have any audio. The student has to read and choose an answer. A frog can jump. Click on it, and then again, two fingers, they have to scroll down to see the next blue button. You might have to show them that. But honestly, the easier way is to come up here, make it full screen, and now the button will always appear. Mother cats have little kittens. What are kittens? Oh, baby cats. Click on it, the button appears. Next. Another difference here, you know which question you're on, but you don't know how many total questions there are. Okay, once the practice is over, it says, let's go to the test. Now it tells you how many questions there are going to be. We're on the first question out of 34. The student has to read this by themselves and answer by themselves. You cannot read the question to them, you cannot read the answers to them, and you cannot help them. If they need to go to the restroom, you can click on Stop Test and resume later. Of course, it's going to ask you for the password again, A-D-M-I-N, and resume later. Again, no thanks, do not save that password. It lets you know the test is paused, and will kick, kick you back out to the main screen. When the test is completely over and your student's all done, remember that you're going to have to take it out of full screen to get back to the tabs and addresses and things. Last but not least, do not click the orange button. No click in la naranja. Good luck, persevere, and roar wildcats!